purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to install a Ruby script for use in Google SketchUp, the 3D modeling program. Ruby scripts are used in Google SketchUp in a similar fashion that Actions and JavaScripts are used in Adobe Photoshop. So they cut down on redundant tasks and tedious repetition, which can sometimes stifle creativity and reduce productivity. The installation for a Ruby script to be used in Google SketchUp is pretty simple. It is slightly different for Mac and PC, so I'm going to walk you through how to do both. To install a DigiArt Quick Tool Ruby script into Google SketchUp on a Mac, first go to Library, Application Support, Google SketchUp, and then inside of that there's another subfolder called SketchUp. Inside of the SketchUp folder, there's another one called Plugins, and this is the folder that we need to drop the Ruby script in to be used in Google SketchUp. If you are using a PC, you will instead need to go to Program Files, Google, and then inside of that, Google SketchUp, and then look for the Plugins folder there as well. And again, this is where the Ruby script would need to be placed for use in Google SketchUp. After placing any DigiArt Quick Tool downloads that are Ruby scripts into either of these folders, you've effectively installed the Ruby script for use in Google SketchUp. You'll then need to restart Google SketchUp if it's already open. The next time you start Google SketchUp, you'll then have access to any of the DigiArt Quick Tool downloads that you've installed in that folder. You're just going to the Tools menu in Google SketchUp. You'll then see a list of any of those DigiArt Quick Tool downloads that you've installed. This concludes the tutorial on how to install Ruby scripts for use in Google SketchUp. Don't forget to visit freddyart.com for additional tutorials and other DigiArt Quick Tool downloads.